What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Tenorshare, and we're taking a look at their 4Dig Mac Data Recovery software. As you guys can see here, this thing can recover just about anything you need from your Mac, but they also have a variation of this for other operating systems as well. But for the time being, I'm on a Mac right now, so we're going to jump around and see what we can do with this. So first of all, I'm sure a lot of us have accidentally deleted those precious photos or videos or memories or a calendar date or anything of those sorts. And not to worry, because that's where this recovery data software kicks in. If you've accidentally deleted something from maybe an SD card, that's gone, gone. But maybe not. Maybe we could get it back using this. I think so. Or maybe you emptied that trash can. Oh my gosh, that trash can right here. If you accidentally hit that empty button, you've lost everything and that is not fun. Other things happen that aren't exactly our fault. You see, human error isn't always the case. Sometimes an Apple update just fails and boom, next thing you know, you have a brick device, but you still need to get things off of it. Or maybe you don't have a brick device, but the device is back, but the information is not. Well, maybe now you need to fix it. Other times you have system crashes, disk damage, to corruption, to partition losses, to CPU failure, broken screen. There's just so many things that can go wrong, even a virus attack. So how exactly could we mitigate this and get our files back? Well, that's where this kicks in. As you guys can see, this is the 4D dig software. And as you guys can see, it's going to pull up all of the different drives that we have here. For example, use my Macintosh HD main drive. I also have my rocket, which is of course my one terabyte external with all my cool footage on it. And of course, a lot of the videos we shoot for smart tech are of course going to end up on just a normal sd card which we can recover some things from as well other things you can do is recover something from the trash and this is really really useful last but not least you can attempt to recover files from a crashed computer i don't have a crash crash computer so i can't really show you guys that however if you guys want to crash your own computer and test that out go for it don't do that now Here's what we can do, however. What we can do is we can jump into my rocket, which is my external, and this is the drive that I'm most likely to lose precious things off of. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit scan, and as you guys can see right off the bat, it's able to get all of these files back. Oh, wow, look at look at how insane that is. Before we even look around, let's see what it's trying to recover at this moment. As you guys can see, it can get JPEGs to TIFF files to BMPs to PNGs. Those are just photos. Look at all these different formats, videos from AVI to MOV, audio files from MP3 to WMA. You can also recover email that are in PST or DX, uh, DBX or EMLX files, even more. I mean, these are the Outlook typical uh, files that a lot of people need to recover every once in a while. You can also get back documents, PowerPoints, CSVs, really important if you work in corporate. Last but not least, you can also get rid of uh, or get uh, your zip files back that you accidentally got rid of. So that's really, really awesome. As you guys can see here, we're not even, we're 12,000, 12,000 guys, 12,000 files in my one terabyte. And I'm not surprised, it is one terabyte drive that I have deleted many things off but this thing has already found 13,582 files and we're at zero percent 14,000 how insane is that this has two hours and 38 minutes remaining however unfortunately I can't make this video two hours and 38 minutes along that is a big drive so what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna jump around and see what we were able to get back so as you guys can see here um, we have what you could do as a tree view or a file view. So in the tree view, this will show you the exact folders in which things were lost from, whether it's the recycling bin to my 2020 shots folder. You also get yourself the file view. So if you just want, you know, you know you, there's that one specific image that you missed and you want to get that one specific image back, you just jump into here and you can get that back. As you guys can see, here is some audio um, that we found and it will actually preview each of these audio clips um, that you can actually go ahead and see at least the names wise and whatnot and the date that it was modified and how big it was that should be enough information for you to get it back somewhat here is some video so we might be able to jump back into here some mp4 files once again if I hit recover on any of these I'll be able to get it back here's some documents um, some web files I had on here web extension others how insane is that this is grabbing things I didn't even know existed and of course um, the most important we have some photos on here which is really really cool let's just for you know this video sake let's go ahead and and maybe get back some JPEGs. I don't know what this JPEG is, but we're gonna hit recover on it. And oh, I do need to select. Yes, let's go ahead and select that. I'm gonna hit recover and let's see if we can recreate this file um, directly from something that doesn't even exist anymore. I'll just place it onto my downloads folder because why not? Uh, let's make a new folder. I'll call it okay. And recovery complete let's go ahead and open this file and see if we're able to see what this particular image is it's gonna call itself ion rocket inside of here we have recycling bin last but not least check this epic image out I can't believe I lost this how insane is that this is one of those cool pictures that I accidentally deleted and I just got back now for the sake of this video we're gonna go ahead and try to recover one mp3 file because why would we not 
So what I'm going to do to recover this particular file here is I'm going to go and just select it. And I do need to deselect this particular JPEG here. We don't need to recover, re recover that again. And uh, in fact, you can actually select multiple. So for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and select multiple MP3s and get them back. I'm going to hit recover. And then I'm going to put them into a uh, new folder. And we're going to call it music. All right, and I didn't spell music right, but that's okay. We're gonna hit open and it recovered. Look how quick it recovered that, how insane is that? Once again, it'll make a folder called Ion Rocket. And then, uh, let's see, uh oh, that's my JPEG, wrong folder, here it is. We're gonna hit this and inside here we should find, that's right, our three MP3 files. How insane is that? And we can go ahead and start playing that right now. Oh, I forgot how much I like this song. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.